Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this impromptu video of Arnold Repairs. So just a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago, I uploaded a video on the engine overhaul of my MASH 50 uh, small motorcycle engine. Um, I have an update and it's not good news. Let me switch the camera over. So um, I'm in my small shed in our backyard. And there it is, the exact same engine. We're 400 kilometers in and uh, something has failed. Last weekend I was driving, my son was a passenger and we had a strong headwind. And yeah, that, um, well, it isn't the fastest bike, but it couldn't make it up into the wind. And uh, well, it, eventually we got home and the engine stopped and I could not get it started again. So I checked the valve timing, ignition timing and all, and I could not see anything obvious wrong with it. Um, and when I tried to start it, it seemed that the engine had lost compression. So worst case scenario is I blew a hole uh, in the piston or I had a valve problem. So I took the engine out, otherwise you can't lift the cylinder head off. And now it sits here on the bench and I found the culprit. So there's the cylinder head, the cylinder, and that's where the fault was. It's the head gasket. It's completely burned through. So what has happened? Well, um, when you look at this and you look up close, you can see, I will move the camera around, that this metal ring in the head gasket has been dented. It has obviously been hit by the piston. And uh, when you look back at the original video where I done the overhaul and restart the engine, um, you could hear my disappointment because the uh, engine noise was still there. I was looking for big end play and when I took the engine apart, yeah, there is a little bit of play but nothing abnormal. So I put it back in, but at first start I thought, oh bummer, it was the crankshaft. But I don't think it is. What I heard was the piston hitting, it will focus. Uh, that metal ring in the head gasket. Now you can see the bright mark on the edge over there. It's exactly in the middle of the screen right now. And that's where the uh, piston has hit this, sorry, this metal ring of the head gasket. Now there can be two things wrong. And what I think is the case, and I'm pretty sure of this, is, um, oh, let me put it on the right way. This is how it goes. And now you can see all those dents better they're also on the top side and over there it's pretty bad actually um, either this metal ring and this cut out this hole is too much to that side or these where the dowel pins are uh, aren't pushed in in the exact, uh, exact right spot so let me put the dowel pins in over here now if you check it you can slide it back and forth a little bit but uh, it's pretty hard to see on this here until you put it on the cylinder. Let's put the dowel pins in there. Try to do this one-handed. Now it goes on like this. Now if you check, it can go back and forth. But I, when I pull it all the way to that side over there, and when I film with my finger, this ring still clears the cylinder bore, um, but it doesn't do it on this side. When you put it that way, it even more covers up the cylinder bore. So that's where the piston was hitting it, and that has damaged the head gaskets. So it's probably the alignment of those holes in here. That uh, caused my problem. So if one of you wants to do this job, uh, please check this first. And the reason I'm making this video, I posted this um, on a Mesh Owners Facebook group. And there was another guy who showed me a picture who had the exact same uh, head gasket failure, only on this part, a little bit lower. But it's pretty obvious that the alignment and production precision of these head gaskets is out of order. And uh, well, yeah, and that caused head gasket failure. So, any of you who wants to do this overhaul and engine job, uh, please check the quality of your gaskets first before you install it. 
I uh, never made uh, a point of this in all the hundreds of engines I've rebuilt. And when you look at engine rebuilds videos on videos, people just put a head gasket on. And yeah, it's safe to assume that it'll work, but there apparently is a quality problem with that. So that's why my engine failed after 400 kilometers. I decided to revert it back to 50cc um, because I do think that there is too much strain on the um, on the big end. And let's see uh, how it goes. If I decide to revert back to 70cc, I think I'll buy a brand new engine and put my 70cc kit on there. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one. Bye!